Hey guys, Saidi here. So this video is going to be about changes that I've been making to my diet that support my spiritual growth. So there's this one ingredient. There's this one ingredient that I feel is absolute poison. Whether you're on the ascension path, whether you're just kind of living your life regular, um, and whether you're into spirituality or not, I feel like this is something that is not good for anybody, okay? But specifically today, I'm going to be talking about my experience with this and why I'm trying to reduce it. Um, and and I, I won't say I'm c completely getting rid of it, but I'm reducing it a great deal. And this ingredient is sugar, okay? <clears throat> so... What I noticed, first of all, I'll tell you about my experience with sugar. Okay, first of all, I'm a huge foodie. So anyone that knows me well knows me that I knows that I love food. And I have both a sweet tooth and a salty tooth. Typically people have one or the other. I have both, okay? So I'm I've been working hard at reducing sodium for another reason. This is more more so physical. Uh, more so physical reasons. Um, but recently I've been working on reducing sugar, trying to cut it out of my diet more. And my past experience with sugar, in the past when I was a teenager and I used to eat it, I didn't really have any problems, at least from what I noticed. I didn't really have any problems with it. I was able to eat whatever I want, okay? I was able to eat tubs of ice cream. I mean, you can ask people that have known me for years. I was, I've acquired a lot of nicknames <laughs> based on my appetite, okay? But I found that as I started to open up more, as I started to become more aware of my body, as I started to become more aware of the world around me, and I was increasing my, my intuition and my connection with spirit, my sensitivity started to increase. So I wasn't able to eat certain things anymore, okay? So there was one day, this was actually a few years ago, there was one day I went to the store to get some groceries. And I was like, hmm, trolley bright crawlers. So it's like the gummy worms, right? <clears throat> so I picked some up, and I like candy. I don't eat it all the time, but I like candy. So I picked up a bag of trolley bright crawlers, and I went home, and I was like, I'll just have a few. Well, it went from a few to actually eating the whole bag, okay? And by the time I was done with the whole bag, I felt completely numb. I felt completely numb. That was scary for me because first thing, it showed me actually how sensitive I am and how perceptive I am. It, you know, in tune with my own feelings, but then also energies around me. So that was really scary. So first thing, it showed me how sensitive I really am. And then second, it showed me that I can't eat sugar like that anymore. I can't do those things that I used to do. Okay, so I never did that again. So I was like, okay, I'm never having that much candy ever. So I never did that again. But I'm also lactose intolerant, so I can't have dairy products. Uh, so I love ice cream, so I decided to opt for a non-dairy vegan ice cream, which they're delicious. And if you're lactose intolerant like me, then that's something that you should explore. So I opted for non-dairy vegan ice cream, but then there was one day, and this was recently, like I would say maybe a week and a half ago, I started to eat the vegan ice cream, and then I noticed this just, I was feeling uncomfortable. And it wasn't physically, because I'm sensitive um, in terms of my digestion, uh, my digestive system, but I just noticed it mainly like in the head area, in this area. I'm like, I don't feel good, even after eating this. And I did notice that there was a ton of sugar in it, okay? I also noticed the same thing happen if I eat too much white bread. Like, if I have a roll or something, it won't do anything. But if I have, like, let's say, tons of pasta, and then I have some white bread on the side, forget it. It's, it'll, it'll have that similar effect of, of this kind of numbing sensation. So what tends to happen when I have that numbing sensation is that I have to get something really healthy the next day. Typically, I eat pretty healthy, 
but then, you know, sometimes I have some trouble staying on track. I'm sure a lot of you understand. So, like the first time it happened with the sugar, I had to get like a green juice with kale and uh, cucumber and lemon. And I found that maybe two minutes after I drank that, I opened right back up. So I went right back to normal. So I was like, like damn, like I really can't, <laughs> I can't eat sugar the way that, that I want to, or not, not even how I want to. I don't want this stuff that badly. But in the past, you know, that, that was my go-to. I mean, I always ate sugary things. I never had an issue. So I think part of it is age. You know, I'm changing. I'm 30 years old. But I also feel like a great part of this has to do with my level of sensitivity. So <clears throat> if you do some research on the effects of sugar on the body, it's all negative. So it increases inflammation and it can increase your stress levels, obviously increases belly fat and all these different things. But imagine what it does, besides the physical stuff, imagine what this does for someone who's sensitive, for someone who's an empath, for someone who's in tune with everything. So if it's for the average person, if this is what it does, imagine what it does to the highly sensitive individual. I would pin this as being almost poison because it totally throws you off your, off your balance. Absolutely. So this is something that I've been working on reducing in my diet, and I have found that already it's having great effects. <clears throat> so like for instance, typically in the morning, you know, I have a healthy breakfast, you know, avocado and sometimes boiled eggs, or sometimes I'll have like 12 grain bread and peanut butter and things like that. But sometimes I'll also get like a fruit juice. So I stop doing the fruit juice in the morning, because typically the fruit juice when it's uh, bottled, it has all this added sugar. So I stopped doing that. I stopped having dessert every day. <laughs> For me, I usually like having something sweet every day. So instead of having like, let's say vegan ice cream or even like a vegan cookie, I stopped doing that and I replaced that with fruit. So I'll have fruit as like something to help curb my sweet tooth throughout the day. So I'll have bananas or I'll have strawberries or, you know, raspberries. So I started incorporating more fruit into my diet. And to be honest with you, it hasn't been that hard. It's actually been pretty easy to cut sugar out of my diet. Like I said, I'm not doing it completely. I'm saving the weekends for times where I can indulge and have like a sweet treat here and there, but I'm not going to go overboard. You know, I have limits. <clears throat> but I found that for myself, it's been having great effects and I'm going to continue doing it. So yeah, so if you're an empath, you're sensitive, and you're, you're very acutely in tune with energies, I would recommend looking at your diet and seeing what you can reduce, whether it be sugar, whether it be salt, because depending on the person, salt is not good either. You have to be very careful with salt, okay? It's really not good for the heart and the cardiovascular system. Um, look at how much fat you're eating, you know, how much, like, um, bad fats you're eating, you know, all these different things. Don't go crazy though, because you don't want to stress yourself out and get to the point where it's like you're stressing over what you're eating and then you cause yourself even more stress than when you were eating all the stuff that would cause you problems. So just take a look at that and, you know, see what changes you can make and see if there's any improvements. And if you want, you can leave a comment down below to let me know if You've, made, you've been making any changes in your diet or if you've been guided to make any changes for yourself in, in any kind of way, in a physical sense, okay? So, um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to share that experience. I'm actually about to go to work, so I just I wanted to film this really quick. I'm, I'm dressed to go to work, so I wanted to film this really quick and share this with you all. So I send you so much love, and I'll be filming another video very soon. So take care. Bye-bye.